Ray, congratulations on an incredible career of service to the community and the children of our community. I wanted to share an anecdote of, of before it began. Um, my dad, who would often come to our house in the evening, um, came by one night and shared with my wife and I that he was looking for a new uh, director for the Boys and Girls Club. And he said, a young man's come in and applied for the job, and this is such a departure from, from what we had in, in John and Sue Paul. He said, I'm a little, a little unsure. Um, but the fellow said that, that he knew you, Connie, and that uh, I wanted to see what you could tell me about him. And his name's Ray Black. And Connie said, I remember Ray. He said, we taught Head Start together. And I've never seen an individual who had such an uncanny ability to identify the, the kids most in need and to draw them out and to engage them in the most constructive way. She said, this is just the most phenomenal interaction I've ever witnessed, and I was just awestruck. You could not hope to find a better candidate for the position of director of the Boys and Girls Club. So I just wanted to share that, and I wanted to thank you, Ray, for the years of service and commitment on behalf of the community, and more importantly, the kids of our community whose lives you've changed and enriched along the way. Thank you, Ray. I have to say thank you as a coach. You came to me and asked me to move the judo team from the Henry Trimble location we had to the Blood White Boys and Girls Club, which was located downtown in Madison at that time. We decided to do so, and not knowing what I was getting into, um, I still have to say I had a great time. I enjoyed teaching judo at the Lot White Boys and Girls Club, and with your encouragement to keep going, even when there were times that I thought maybe I'm getting older, I needed to retire, you convinced me otherwise. And by doing so, we were able to impact so many children's lives. Every student, and I don't know if I've ever told you this, but every student that enrolled to, in the judo team improved in some area, whether it was in their grades or their behavior at home, their behavior at school. A lot of the kids that referred to us from the A school ended up being student of the month. So through your encouragement, encouraging me to be a coach, you made a great impact on a lot of children's lives. So. Thank you. As a coach, I greatly appreciate that encouragement, that support, and we're going to see you around doing other things, I'm sure. I'm very honored to share a story about Ray Black. Uh, it happened about 40 years ago, and Ray Black and I believe Dwight Inskeep called my house. And it was very soon after my father had passed away when I, at a young age. And they had called me to invite me down to be a part of the boys club at the time, now the boys and girls club, and join their basketball team. And we traveled all over southern Indiana. It opened the door for me to meet a lot of great people, a lot of great friends that I still have today. But it was Ray and Dwight at the time that really made a difference in my life and helped me at a young age when my father was gone. Um, I know my mother, who has passed away about 12 years ago, really appreciated that call uh, because it came at a time in, in my life to when I needed a male figure, um, and I was so very fortunate to come into to contact with Ray Black at that time. We've stayed in touch, and he's become such a very, very good friend, and I can't imagine how many boys and girls he has impacted over his time at the Boys and Girls Club. We're very lucky in our community to have Ray Black. We're going to miss you, Ray, but we still love you. Thank you for everything. Hi, everybody. My name is Bob Courtney. I've known Ray for quite a long time. In fact, uh, I've been a member of the Light White Memorial Boys and Girls Club and, and affiliated with the club for almost most of my life. Uh, back in the old days when the Boys Club was located downtown, that was basically our home away from home. And Ray has been a strong influence to a lot of uh, young adults uh, and youngsters throughout Jefferson County, and I would say it ranks in the thousands throughout his career. Uh, it's a privilege of mine to be able to congratulate him on his retirement. Uh, I'm, I'm happy in a couple of respects. 
Uh, first, that he is able to celebrate his retirement, and then secondly, I'm hopeful that we'll never have to see Ray again in a grass Hulu skirt. Uh, Ray, that scarred me for life. That was one of the things that uh, I wish you could take back, but I know you can't. But more, but on a more positive note, you know, Ray, I would call is one of the original mentors in my life. Uh, when we were when we were young, you know, the boys club was our home away from home, and. Ray and JP and Sue and Bill Cole and all the other volunteers at the club were our surrogate family. They helped us with our homework, they taught us life skills, they helped us manage conflict. If we had issues, Ray would always say, take it out on the mat. And we would go into the wrestling room and that's where we would wrestle out our conflict. Little did we know that Ray was mentoring us uh, in a really, really positive way that would uh, help us through life, not just with conflict management, but using sports uh, to, to create discipline and work ethic and, and teach us about those life skills that, that some of us weren't, uh, uh, weren't able to get at home, for example. So it's a privilege of mine to thank Ray for his mentoring. Uh, when I was young, you know, some of the challenges that the, that the youth had back then was basically about economic disadvantage. And now Ray is on the forefront of mentoring children and, and young adults that have much deeper problems, uh, substance abuse and teen suicide and, and mental health issue, issues, for example. Without the work that Ray Black has done over the course of his career, uh, Jefferson County would be far worse off. And so it's a, it's a privilege of mine to thank Ray for his contributions, uh, congratulate him on his retirement, and uh, look forward to seeing what he does in the future. Ray, I am here to talk about you. Uh, I love you, brother. It's uh, hard to say this. Debbie says I only have an hour and a half, so I have to make it kind of quick, but it's great. But I think back about all the board member meetings, all the fun that we had, and as a friend and a fellow wrestler, you went to Hanover, I went to uh, Indiana State, and we still got real big, which is kind of fun. But I just want to say thank you for all the years. I think back on, on the times with um, Beano Goodman and Bob Hughes and all our big icons back then on the board uh, and, and Dick Goodman and I just uh, Dave uh, Butler all the times we've uh, had meetings and talked about things and made things happen and uh, I look at it now and I think I'm the old timer on the board now so it's I look at all these young kids and it's awesome you've really nurtured a lot of kids and we really appreciate that it's it's been fun we've had uh, tough times I remember downtown when we were down there and we we're trying to figure out what to do where to go we went up to the Buchanan Fitness Center and we did, were there for a whole month in February thinking well let's see how many kids come here from the hilltop and most of the kids came from downtown. So we figured out they will follow us wherever we go. So uh, it was a good move, a lot of work, but it's, uh, it's been a great blessing to have the facility on the hilltop. And you have been a wonderful blessing to kind of keep that going. And now with our mud uh, fun run over there, oh my goodness, it's a, <laughs> we've got a field with a permanent mud run, which is phenomenal. Uh, I look at the people running through there and cheering on. And back in the days when you and I used to be able to run, and it's just uh, fun to watch the kids. I'm really proud of them when I think of uh, boards and all the things we've done. The coalition, one thing that's really, really important, working with the suicide prevention, um, especially with uh, trying to get people motivated, get them going, it's just really awkward. Um, I know we were behind the scenes and it was tough, but I really appreciate you being there every month. We tried downtown, and I think we kind of kick-started the program, the wellness program here in the community, which is really important. I'm gonna change a hat here. I gotta get my Boys and Girls Club. I have, because of you, I have a collection of in my closet of Boys and Girls Club shirts. <laughs> Caitlin said, what are you gonna do with all these shirts and hats? I said, I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna brag about our Boys and Girls Club. Anytime I can, I always like to, to talk about the kids and do things. In fact, today, I think we're coming up on the trolley to pick the kids up and take them to a museum or two, uh, and all the fun things that you've done. And I really appreciate that. It's uh, um, you think of what Brandy's doing, how you've nurtured her, and all the kids that we've got together. Um, I really, over the years, gosh, what, 25, 30 years or whatever, we go to the last century. It's just kind of fun to see the kids picking up and doing things that uh, we did, and it's nice to kind of relax. And now you can kind of get with the kids, the grandkids. I'm so glad you're so involved with them. And also, you gotta get your golf cart. You know, we've talked about that. We've always talked about, once see you two out in the golf cart. It was fun to see you in the, uh, the first golf cart annual uh, parade that we had. You had the S, uh, what was it, the Super ATV. 
and that was fun to see you and and uh, Vicky in that, and I love that. And I think you need to get more time in to do more fun things like that. But it's been a phenomenal time together. And brother, I'll tell you, it's uh, I'd love to see you out front of uh, Red uh, Roaster. You're relaxing and talking and gossiping, of course. Got to have a little fun with those things. And taking care of the West Hood. Uh, Got to take care of everybody down that neck of the woods with Abby and Manny and Luca down there now. We need to kind of help keep the patrol and all the excitement going. I think back on the many talks we've done on the, uh, what was it, WRX and the, the, uh, wa the, Marlboro, the what was it, McDonald's uh, talks. And uh, the last one was, was exceptional, talking about how uh, the kids have really done so much for you. And I really appreciate that. So I'm going to get another hat here. It's, uh, <laughs> how's that? I got to cover up this old bald head here, but I just want to say that uh, we thank you, we love you, and it just—it's uh, been a phenomenal time together. We're going to keep it going. Got to get you and Vicky out to kind of relax. I told you now that you have an empty nest, you got to get out and have some fun. So, uh, brother, I give you a big hug and I just say I love you very much and many, many good years of retirement and thank you for all that you've done. Ray, congratulations on your retirement from the Light White Boys and Girls Club. After 34 years as the executive director there, you can be extremely proud of all that's happened for kids, families, and the communities on your watch. Certainly your passion for young people and serving them and their families has been a hallmark when it comes to your leadership and what you've done for the club and for the community. At Boys and Girls Clubs of America, we're extremely proud of all that you've accomplished and on behalf of our Board of Governors, as well as our entire team here at the National Organization, thank you uh, for your service to youth. A couple highlights about your career. Not only did you start as a club kid back in the seventh or eighth grade, uh, you came back later to serve as a coach, as a volunteer, and then 34 years ago as the executive director of the club. Back in those days, the budget was a lot smaller, the number of kids that you were serving was a lot smaller, and thank you uh, for not only quadrupling or quintupling the number of kids that are able to attend a Boys and Girls Club thanks to you, but also for helping the community realize the importance of investing in a Boys and Girls Club to serve more youth. Thank you for all that you've done for kids and for this nation. You're a great American and a great individual and a great family man. Thanks a lot, Ray. Ray, I hear it's your retirement after all these years. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great time with your family. Spend lots of time in Atlanta with Coco so you can come see me. Um, but thank you for everything you've done for the clubs and for the kids. We appreciate you and we love you. Ray, remember that game of ping pong that we weren't able to finish in 1977? Well, now the teachers become the student. I challenge you to finish that game when you get time and I look forward to it. Thank you. Congratulations, Ray, from BGCA! Woo!